There we go. How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and T will maybe be in and out. I don't know. We're expecting company, so we're going to keep this kind of short today. We're going to play a game called Skeletris. I saw it on itch.io. You can download it if you want, and um, it looks kind of cool. It's like this RPG game, but it, the I guess the gimmick is it's like Tetris. So, why not? Tetris is cool. How's it going, Skepsis D? Yeah, what a title, right? <laughs> What's up, Hunting Swan? Vero Claw 23, how you guys doing? We're gonna jump right into it. I don't have a ton of time today, but we're gonna play until, uh, I guess, I don't know, about 30 minutes or so. Um, we've got start controls, sound. Okay, I think I've already set up the sound, so it should be all right. Hey, Gamers Gore, how you doing? Let me know if it's uh, the music's too loud or too quiet, and I'll adjust it on the fly. Controls. Uh, Wazda. All right, all right. Space to skip your turn. E to rotate item. R for inventory. M for map. Simple enough. Let's start Skeletris. But first of all, if you'd like us to play your game on stream, that's a reward for the $20 tier on my Patreon. Links are in the description below. Uh, if you don't have money to throw at us, but you'd like us to play your game on stream anyway, we coded a bot, a Discord bot, that um, lets you earn credits in a multitude of different, different ways, and you can uh, rack up those credits and trade those credits for uh, a first impressions video, so you don't actually need to pay us money for, to get us to play your game. You play our game, we'll play your game, basically. That's it, we're gonna get started with Skeletris. Let's get started. What's up, Jeremiah, how you doing? What's up, Nat? I have no idea what engine they use, if any. It might just be some libraries in like C++ or something. Use Wazda to move, okay, okay. I see that, I see you there, I see you. Is this a door? That's a door. Okay, um, space to skip a turn, up, down, left, right to move. I guess it's turn based. this is our HP. Inventory, okay, we can click it. We have attack, defense, fatality, speed, and HP, and depth. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, and then map. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, we have a web. We can attack it. Okay, cool, cool. I like it. Let me turn it up the snare in my headphones real quick. There we go. It, it sounds like uh, we've got this 8-bit... Uh, music which is kind of cool we do have like this fog of war can i attack diagonal no i cannot okay okay that's cool use the mouse to pick up equipment press r to... oh <laughs> okay so our equipment is lego is uh, tetris this is interesting i like it already okay and we got a piece here can we rotate it right click to store it can I, can I rotate this at all? One to all attacks, one to all attacks. Okay. This is pretty cool. All right, I like the equipment menu. I like how you, it lets you feel strong at the beginning of the game. They're hitting you for one and with low accuracy and you're hitting, you're killing them in a couple hits. I think the beginning of a game should be easy like this so that you can get used to learning how to play. It's a rake, all right? We got a potion of healing. Uh, wait, what? Can I just put it here? Wait, do I? Can I put it in my inventory? Oh, I can, okay, good. Gives regeneration when consumed for four turns. He going to the next level appears to heal you. This is cool, man. I'm, I'm digging this. Skeletris. Ooh, this looks weird. A cave crawler. I like how it gives you the stats. It's a thrower, so we want to get up on it. Get up on it. A dagger. Okay, so apparently we can't, like, it's all locked. Press E to rotate the items. Okay, okay. A inventory. Oh, okay, I get it. I get, can I put this in there? I mean, it apparently it lets me. I doesn't appear to open the inventory. Oh, it's R. Okay. It's kind of weird. I guess because it's better to keep... That makes more sense. Like, the fact that it's I, but you press R is a little confusing. <laughs> hey, we got a new piece. All right. Uh, oh, no. What is it? E to rotate. There we go. 
This gives us one to our attacks. Okay, okay. What a cool concept. It seems to be a decoration of some kind. All right. I know there was another room back there. I'm gonna have to check that other room. Give me that piece. Uh-oh. Starting to fill up the area here. There we go. This gives one to Vitality. Damn. I don't think uh, I need to put these in here. I think the inventory, these will go in. But the weapon, uh, yeah, obviously does. The Dagger of Pain. It's a throwable weapon, plus one damage when thrown. I guess I click on this. Oh, I press one to activate, okay. Whoa. Uh, he threw a healing potion. And then the guy died. So I guess ghosts are... Uh, they take damage from healing? I, I don't know. Game is being very generous. Okay. The game is being very generous with items and whatnot. How do I take the potion again? Oh, you put it on your yourself. Okay. Yeah, give me that piece. Oh no, I can't, I can't make it fit. That's what she said. Oh gosh. What does this one give? Three vitality, it's better than one attack, but maybe I can somehow finagle this in there? No, there's just not enough spaces to fit everything. So I think I'll get rid of the one vitality one for the three vitality one and just make this fit somehow. Oh no, I think I, I, <laughs> I can make this work. Hold on. Like, I think that was a good start. Are, is it just not possible to fit these pieces? I don't think all these pieces will just fit. Nah, they won't. Okay, so I'm gonna trade. I got rid of one vitality because this piece is kind of weird. It's kind of like uh, hard to deal with. Hey, Black Ruby Raven. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. We found another computer on the side of the road. It's an old. Uh, DDR3 uh, micro ATX motherboard. Had six gigs of DDR3 I took out. Uh, the chassis is pretty much garbage and it's all dirty. Uh, we put that back on the side of the road, but I took it apart and took all the pieces out. I need to eat a potion or I'm gonna die. Healing! There we go. Oh, so much better. Uh, uh. Give me all the pieces. Is this a better dagger than mine? No, it's the same dagger, but can I have two daggers? Did that also give me like more damage? Nah, I think it doesn't. But it lets me throw. So like maybe I can press two or one. Oh no, you just select them. How do you throw? How do you throw it? It says throwing weapon. That's weird. No, we can't. We have to go around. Okay. It had a, um, 
a quad core AMD processor in it with a one of the chips one of the cores was a uh, Radeon 7650 something uh, not, nothing great but it was a so it just did have onboard graphics the ATX motherboard is pretty garbage and old I left that in the chassis and so I, I took everything else out it had a, a DVD RW drive I took out it's crazy that just people throw this stuff away I guess like if you don't know very much or you just don't care about like your old parts and stuff It's fine. Like you just buy a new system and you don't think much else of it These are all plus one so I'm not gonna mess with them But that's the second one we, we found on the, the side of the road And the first one was much older and uh, Less like overall parts However, the the first one had a really baller uh, chassis, and we. So what I'm gonna do is take out the. Gosh, we get lots of stuff. Okay, let me see. Do it. This is a really good piece. It's kind of hard to fit, but it gives five points. This is two to everything. Maybe I start taking out like this plus one, and I, I go with this, and this is also a plus one, isn't it? Oh no, it's, it's just inventory management. Defense sounds like a good thing to have. Let's take this plus one out and maybe I could fit this weird looking defense one in here. Let me try to rotate it. Oh, it's so just odd to fit it. Okay, that'll work. And this can go there. Do I have any little square pieces? Three, five, one. This is give, gonna give four, so I think this is, oh, but it's different. Okay, so I think all the stuff that get one stat, I should drop. That's one, 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 one. Okay, any ones over here that I've got on? No, these are all big dogs. Okay, there we go. So plus three, plus three, plus five, plus four. This is a two. It's so weird though, but it's a defense. It's the only defense one I have. Two to all attack. I'll let that one go too. And I don't know if it's worth, like they don't have a value. Like, is there a reason why I would be keeping multiple daggers of pain when I don't think they stack or anything? I don't know, maybe I'll keep one. The potions, I see a reason why you'd keep them, right? But anyway, someday I'll get my first impressions. Eventually, that. I mean, you could play our Discord bot, or you could, you know, do a PayPal $25 one time donation, or you could back on Patreon for 20 bucks. There's many ways. Oh no, I shouldn't have walked into that, but it's okay. I have regeneration potions. Let's eat one of these potions. This is a pretty cool game. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. Also, the music is good and it's like, it's a little repetitive, but like, it's not bad and I'm not sick of it yet. It's kind of like a peaceful repetitive. I do want to get this last guy. Do we level up or anything? Do we have like an experience? I don't think we like level up. The only thing that happens is we get better pieces. The simple art style is cool. The music changed. Uh oh, what's this? Oh, hello, are you alone? Did you come from the city? Do you know what happened? What path did you take? Is, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, I'm bombarding you. On any other day, I'd welcome you into our outpost, but mm, there's a little problem right now. Well, maybe not that little, sort of medium. Maybe medium big. Anyway, a huge spider. <laughs> it was like, it's like small, medium, medium big. A huge spider found its way in, and it, none of us can safely fight it. We've trapped it in the central chamber, waiting for it to get weak from hunger. But that could take half, a half cycle or longer, depending on when it last fed. And meanwhile, I'm stuck out here hoping nothing worse comes out of the caves and dismantles me. Do you, uh, think you can help? You just... 
You must be tough as nails coming all the way here by yourself. It's strong, but not very fast. The best way to fight it is to attack while it's resting and step away while it's active. That way you can deal damage without being counterattacked, and it will waste its energy chasing you. Does that make sense? You'll know it's resting when you see the ZZZs above its head. It's right through that door. Thank you, Survivor. Outpost 53, welcome to Tomb Town. Tomb Town is not a very inviting name. This must be the boss fight for it. Hey, Jeff Babineau, how you doing? Yeah, the art style is pretty cool. What's up, Heartless? Heartless can afford one right now. She just gotta get comfortable with letting me play her game. <laughs> bang! 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 I think we've leveled up enough, we've got enough things that we can just smash on it. We don't need to worry about it sleeping. It's just like, uh, right, uh, we might need one potion, but I think we good. Bam! Easy. Ooh, that was a good piece, too. This is a six point piece. Let's see, we can get rid of this three and this three and replace it with a six, and that gives us a little playroom here. So that would give us an, uh, enough room for anything else. Hmm, not quite, really. I mean, maybe if I rotate this? Nah, nah, nah. Oops. What if I rotate, ah, what if I rotate this? And then we put this a little bit right there, and this right there. Does that give us a thing? No, not quite. What about for one of these? Oh my god, there we go. It was worth it. Okay. Let's get rid of the two-pointer. I guess we can get rid of that three as well. I'll keep this five in case I... I mean, that's a four. That's a three, but this one can't quite fit. Okay. Yeah. The depth is like how far down we are in the uh, in the dungeon. Hey, Choco Pro or Choco Pyro, how you doing? Betrayal at Crondor. Oh, such a good game. Do you guys remember Betrayal at Crondor? And besides Choco, I know he does. Where'd that lady go? Was she supposed to give me a reward or something? All these doors. Is this a town? What does this say? Bean Skulls Tomato Grove. Okay, okay. Hello there! Thank you for taking care of that spider. We haven't met before, have we? I'm Bean Skull. What's your name? Well, no matter. Welcome to Tomb Town, the final outpost before Skeletris. Although, I don't believe we've heard from them in a while. It's no matter, though. I don't need their high-tech gadgets or artificial whatchamacallit to grow my tomatoes. The real problem is the wildlife. Very dangerous now. Makes it risky to gather seeds. Something strange is going on out there. I can feel it in me bones. Okay, let's get some tomatoes. Oh, I guess we can't just rob him of his tomatoes. That makes sense. That's fine. Hey, I didn't get that chest though. What is this? One defense and a one down. All of the weapons have been the same. That's a little disappointing. Every single dagger I've found has been the same dagger. But like, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Like, I'm finding pieces that are letting me upgrade. So I'm, I'm getting that character progression, which is what you want in every RPG. You want to feel like you're constantly getting stronger. What was all that commotion out there? Spiders again? I keep telling our citizens to close the doors after themselves, but they refuse to listen. Can you believe that? But never mind that. Welcome to Tube Town. I'm Patches the Mayor. Say, perhaps you'd like to open a savings account? The activation fee is just a couple of portobellos, and our growing cellar is perfect for any spore, common or exotic. Up to 4% interest after a cycle, or two is practically guaranteed. What do you say? Oh, unless you don't seem to have any, uh, well, never mind. Uh, better days ahead then. Ha, see you, friend. Strong economy makes a strong town. That's what I always say. Central bank or not, we'll be ready when the market returns. Okay, sure. So that's the banker. And we don't have portobello mushrooms to open an account, so I don't know why we need mushrooms to open an account, but you know. Tombtown Treasury, absolutely no one authorized access. P 
put oh pea patches. Mrs. and Miss Skelly, bee skull. It's a large cluster of mushrooms. Uh, like, do we we can't pick them up though? That's a shame. It's like we find a bunch of stuff, but we can't like pick them up. It's a oh, it's a bank of mushrooms. Like that's the currency. So it's like we're looking inside the bank, but we can't rob it. Uh, that's, that's that's atypical of RPGs. Typically, you're gonna go through and rob every house of all of its things. That's how you play RPGs, right? Everything in an RPG is yours, belongs to you. You're quite a fighter, thank you so much. You aren't hurt, are you? Did you meet the others? Not everyone here is, is here to thank you, but you've done a great service for us today. And I um, wonder if you could help me with something else too. <laughs> the animals, they weren't always like this, you know. They became aggressive four cycles ago. Around the same time, we lost contact with Skeletris. And since then, we haven't received a single message or traveler from the city. There's a path through the swamps to the north, but it's too dangerous for any of us. We've already lost someone trying to pass through. If we can't reconnect, we'll eventually run out of supplies here and go dormant. Would you help guide us to the city? We'll follow behind and assist you on the journey. What do you say? Uh, sure. Yeah, let's do it. I'll, I'll help you. She certainly does follow, like, like I, I go in front of her and she's like still in front of me. Oh, and feel free to use our cloning machine. Cloning machine? Just in case, well, you know, no pressure. I guess this is if you die, you come back here. Welcome to Clonebot, please enter the chamber. It's the save point. This is the save point. Scanning, processing, building new template, finalizing, success. Due to our strict anti-duplication policy, clones may only be produced upon receipt of 66.6 .6 of the original organism's remains. We apologize for the inconvenience. Please exit the chambers. So I guess that means when you come back, I, I don't know if that was flavor text or if you lose like 66% of your inventory or something when you come back. Or if you lose 33% of your inventory. I don't know. Save yourself. MV is, I mean, if, if you're a newbie, if you're a dummy, MV is totally for you. But it's not like only for dummies. MV is good for a lot of people. HP on kill is really good. That's a unique thing. I haven't seen that on anything else. Okay, this is the three. I want to see if I can fit this somehow. What do I have to give up? That's five points, four points, six points. Okay, that's a three, that's a four. Can I fit this somehow? I mean, obviously I'm going to have to move stuff around. Let's take this. Oh no, there we go and put this right here. Oh, boom, got it. Uh, I mean, we do have to give up these, but I, I kind of wanna, I'm losing points, actually. It's, I don't know if that was worth it. We're losing a lot of it. However, maybe I can, gosh darn, maybe I can, no. No, nah. My, my first idea was much better, that's cleaner, okay. Well, I want that HP on kill because, I mean, that's... Oh, we have 16 HP. Ah, still. Still. Bang! Ooh, some damage. It's a plant. It looks well-maintained. I mean, isn't this considered, like, wild? Okay, you have to get stuff from the chest. What is that? A potion of harming? Okay. Potion of quickness. Yeah, MV is great for beginners, but it, it MV will take you as far as you want to go. You could do a lot with JavaScript. Obviously, it has its own limitations, right? And if you're going to do anything 3D, even though I've seen some cool 3D stuff now uh, in, with MV, I, I, I still wouldn't recommend it for 3D. I would just suggest you go to Godot. Or if, if you need something that's got more... Uh, like prefabs, like if you if you want to just like use assets, a lot more assets out there and not make your own, you could probably go with uh, Unity because there's so many prefabs for Unity. Like you don't even have to do any art now. Like you could create a Unity game all like free artwork and like even 
even a lot of prefabs that have the code in them. You don't need to decode anymore to make games. You don't need to code, you don't need to make art. You can make games without coding or making your own art with using prefabs and default stuff. Now, is your game gonna suffer because of it? Probably. Wow, what is this, a whip? Causes the target to flinch. But that takes a lot of space. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's what I want. What does this do? Three to, three to attack? Nah, okay. I'll just stay with my dagger. I probably need to... Ooh, a shield. Plus three defense on hit. Buff? Okay. But okay. Um, I can't give up any space, though. I mean, that's cool stuff, but... What I have to do is maybe... Down one of these potions to stay alive. Is that a, a trill light? Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! I died. Oh man. I should have ran because they had me like. I should have fought him in the hallway. I want to see if if we keep. I don't know. Oh, it, it did it. Oh, I think we just uh. It was just just a straight up save point. We're not getting a lot of our HP, like, can I go back? The pathway is blocked. No, you can't go back. Ooh, what is that? The Sword of Truth. Okay, okay. Oh, is there any way I can get that in here? That's what she said. Hmm. Let's take this one out. Put the Sword of Truth. I kind of feel like I need defense now. I need that deef. I need that beefy deef, you know what I'm saying? That beefy deef. There we go. Yeah, I got some defense. I got a weapon upgrade. I lost some vitality, but you know what? The defense seems to be like kind of rare. More rare. I'm gonna try not to fight two at the same time. Bang, oh, I get shattered. Wow, 10 points for this one. Makes me want to just throw that one down. All right. Also, I mean, there's no point of keeping these daggers pretty lame. Yeah, it's pretty cool we find stuff on the side of the road. Computer parts. I got, um... I already said six gigs of DDR3 RAM. It's pretty old, but like we have some old systems in the house. There's like 10 computers in this house. But there's a lot of people too. I don't think we need another sort of truth. It doesn't really stack or add up. Uh, one cool thing I found was a, uh, a, uh, I guess a Wi-Fi receiver, uh, uh, a, a, like a Wi-Fi receiver that goes into the board. It's pretty cool. Miscellaneous, miscellaneous screws and parts. Five vitality. I don't know. A lot of things give vitality. I don't seem to really think it makes much of a big deal. I think I'm going to try the space bar. Oh, no. 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 Oh, gosh. Here we go. I, I should take my turn to heal. Oh no, I should have pressed spacebar there. Okay, hold on. Come on down. Bam! Bam! Come on. Oh, they spit! Come on, get up! Girl! Okay. I'll take that. Take that, slime! Oh, oh yeah, I think maybe the most expensive thing I found uh, through that system. I mean, I threw the 300 watt power supply I kept it I kept the power supply in it and uh, I kept the micro ATX board and the chassis and put that back on the side of the road because I don't need that trash it's probably what went wrong with it oh no it was the Seagate hard drive that probably went bad I haven't tested it yet I was literally messing with it when my alarm went off it's like go to work oh what they just stand there and keep shooting this whole time how do they keep shooting 
I think that adding two defense was huge. Rod of glory? Sounds, sounds wrong. I mean, it sounds amazing. You hope to release your game for a one to two dollars per chapter? I don't do that, man. Finish your game and sell for ten bucks. Don't under don't undercut yourself. And people don't typically buy the next chapter. They'll play your game and then they won't even look at the title anymore. Just just release, finish it to a point that you would do it. And then sell it for like anywhere from five to ten for like whatever. I mean, do what you want, right? This is I'm just a dude. You wouldn't be able to tell now, but these swamps used to be a popular place for picnics and hikes. City skeletons would come through here all the time, and it was our job at the outpost to make sure none of them accidentally wandered into the caves. Getting lost was the biggest danger back then, not like now. It's so violent now. You know what you could do is let people download the chapter the first chapter for free and then sell uh, the game when you get multiple chapters. But don't sell your game for like a dollar, dude. Like you wanna, oh, oh no, oh, I'm dead. <sighs> Epic run, what does that mean? I did really good? Oh, it was just that was it. Well, I mean, this is a cool game. I actually really like it. It's like a dungeon crawler with this little Tetris equip theme. One thing I, I would say to uh, improve is I like the character progression. I wish that when you died, it, you didn't... There, I, do, I don't like the idea of just a save and a load. I think when you die, it should like respawn you, but uh, take like some kind of currency from you. Like you should just go back to the place where you were, keep the stuff you have, maybe take one item randomly. You know, there's you gotta have some penalty, but but when I have to like, okay, well, I'm back to where I exactly where I was ten minutes ago. That's not fun. I lose my progression. The problem is you can't like go back and save it. It doesn't let you go back. So uh, that that's the problem with it. I would say let the player X the dungeon whenever they want to go back to save it, and or maybe add another feature that uh, adds experience per kill, not just items for character progression, because let's face it, the idea of this game is character progression. You want to keep getting your character stronger, getting better pieces, keep that whole pieces for stats idea. That's fantastic. I love the whole play on Tetris. Really good idea there. Uh, I think, uh, you know, there's a lot to be desired with this game, but overall, big thumbs up. I like it. Really fantastic title. Um, I would like to see an experience level up system. Um, maybe some other things along with it. Yeah, maybe an option to buy more inventory pages. You know, there's something like that. I mean, there's no point to have a, more inventory that, that's useless stuff. So maybe, like, as you get a higher level, you get more, um, like, maybe you start out and it's a 3x3 three three grid. And then you level up and it's a 4x4 four four grid. And then you level up and it's a 5x5 five five grid. And you level up, it's a 6x6 six six and 7x7, seven 8x8. Seven, eight eight. You know what I'm saying? So as your character levels up, you can fit more pieces. I, I could see how you would maybe make that work even. You've got plenty of real estate to do that and with this tile size. So uh, I think this is a fantastic uh, like first look at this game. Skeletris, I love it. It's pretty good. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys liked it. I'm going to end the live stream right here, read off the names. Um, hopefully, uh, you guys had a fantastic weekend. I had a good weekend and we'll see you guys tomorrow at two o'clock EST. Majora Wolf 29 Nat. Thank you so much for coming to the live stream. I really appreciate it. Grundy. Thank you so much for, um, being here. Problem is people are selling unfinished half-assed games. That's true, Grundy. When you, when you decide that you're going to use RPG Maker, you accept the, the risk that your name, your title is going to be tainted, that so many people have rushed projects. The, the worst thing you can do is try to sell your project with RTP in it. So do your best to hide the fact that you have RTP. Um, change all the things that are easy to change, like the icon set, the font. Like These are like five-minute fixes that you can make your game look completely different than like 90% of the RPG, quote, I'm doing air quotes, RPG maker titles out there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you should trade skills. Save yourself. I don't know what you're referring to, but, um, thank you so much. Oh, you're referring to Nat. Okay. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people do that, right? Like, hey, um, 
help me with this code and I'll I'll make a sprite for you or something. A good place to do that is the Discord. That's actually a good segue. Um, come hang out on the Discord. Links in the description, description below where you can find paying work and you can get people to work for you if you want to pay. Also, there's a lot of freelance stuff and like also just people who do favors for free and just... Uh, a good place to talk to like-minded individuals and game devy stuff. So you can also get a first impressions through the Discord. We we coded a bot in um, Node.js and we used uh, SQLite three for our database. And uh, we're using Discord JS and SQLize to handle like like very things so that it was fast. You don't need to know all that, but all you need to know is you can go there and every time you type, you're getting points. There's several ways to get points. You get a million. You trade it for a. Um, a first impressions, or you could back me on Patreon, twenty dollar level, to get a first impressions on your game. Uh, finish reading off the names. Vero Claude, thank you so much for coming to the live stream today. I'm gonna hit F4 real quick, uh, just to scroll up to get these names. You, there's multiple levels of zoom in this game, which is kind of cool. I kind of like that. It's pretty neat. Choco Pyro One, thank you so much for coming to the live stream. Save yourself, Vero Claude, Grundy Doc, Wheeze. Uh, it's good to see you, Doc. Thank you for being here. Heartless Angel, thank you so much for showing up. Um, Jeff Babineau, thank you so much for being here. Skepsis D, appreciate you guys. Boons Bar, hello. And we'll see you guys next time. Chin, Jin Chim, thank you so much. to see. It's good to see you again. Black Ruby Raven, same thing. Thank you so much for showing up to the live stream. Uh, Gamers Gore. And Hunting Swan, Jeremiah Black. Anybody who I missed, thank you so much. Anybody who's lurking, appreciate you guys. We'll see you tomorrow, 2 o'clock EST, for some more first impressions or various other antics. Bye, guys!